Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Competitive Exams Education Institute. In this video, we will talk about chemistry part level, some previous year and important questions. Let's go to the topic. First question is, wavelength is related to velocity and frequency is. That is, velocity and frequency relate to wavelength and frequency. So, already we know C which is equal to mu into lambda. So, we know this formula. So, in this formula, we can rearrange the formula to make the wavelength of the formula. That is, lambda which is equal to C divided by mu. Where lambda represents wavelength, C represents velocity or speed. Then, mu represents frequency. Next question is, energy of a radiation is is related to frequency as according to Planck's quantum theory energy of a radiation which is equal to h into nu where e represents energy of a radiation then h represents Planck's constant value of Planck's constant is about 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second uh, then nu represents frequency then next question is wavelength of UV radiation is in the range of That is the question we have ultraviolet radiation and wavelength range So answer is 10 to 400 nanometer Some places have 150 to 400 nanometer Then what is ultraviolet radiation? Ultraviolet radiation or UV radiation It is a form of electromagnetic radiation Ultraviolet radiation is present in sunlight. UV radiation is shorter than visible light and longer than X-rays. Next question is identification of organic compound can be established by IR spectroscopy or infrared spectroscopy. IR spectroscopy is otherwise called as vibrational spectroscopy. Infrared spectroscopy deals with the IR region of electromagnetic spectrum and IR spectroscopy is the measurement of the interaction of IR radiation with matter by absorption, emission or reflection. Wavelength of IR is about 2500 to 16000 nm. IR spectroscopy is the interaction of molecule with the IR light and IR spectroscopy is used to study and identify chemical substances or functional groups in solids, liquids or gaseous form. That is, for solids, liquids or gaseous forms level, chemical substances or functional groups we find out and study and we use IR spectroscopy. Next one is energy radiation order அதாது வந்து இப்போ நம்ம ரேஸ் சொல்லிருக்கொள்ளங்களா electromagnetic radiation வந்து நம்க்கு நிறைய form of radiations இருக்கு so அந்த radiations ஓட highest level energy to lowest level energy வரு நம்ம order arrange பண்ணிருக்கொள்ளங்களா so gamma rays which is greater than x rays and x rays is greater than ultraviolet radiation ultraviolet radiation is greater than visible light visible light is greater than Infrared radiation or IR radiation. IR radiation is greater than microwaves. Microwaves is greater than radio waves. So, in the order level, now gamma rays are the highest energy level. So, gamma rays are the highest energy level. So, up to this order, we have the energy order. So, in this order, we have the energy order. So, in this order, we have the energy order. So, in this order, we have the energy order. So, in this order, we have the energy order. So, in this order, we have the energy order. So, in this order, we have the energy order. So, in this order, so, energy of a radiation கொந்து நம்க்கு ஒரு formula இருக்கு. According to Planck's quantum theory, energy of a radiation is directly proportional to frequency. That is, E which is equal to H into nu, where E represents energy in joules. Then, H represents Planck's constant. Value of Planck's constant is about 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second. Then, nu represents frequency in heads. So, in the energy order, we have gamma rays the highest energy. Okay, so, as I said, gamma rays have highest energy 
and shortest wavelength and highest frequency. So, we will see Planck's quantum theory E which is equal to h into nu. So, we will see energy is high and frequency is higher. So, energy and frequency are directly proportional. So, that is why we will see the energy is higher and the frequency is highest. Okay, then, wavelength is the shorter wavelength. In radio waves, we will see the energy is lowest. Next frequency also नमक्कु lower रदा कड़िको Okay, इंगला So, energy proportional to frequency So, अनाल energy low वारुदा नमक्कु frequency low वादा अरुको But, वंदु radio waves ले वंदु नमक्कु longest wavelength कड़िको So, when compared to other waves, other radiations Radio waves ले वंदु नमक्कु wavelength वंदु रोंब longer आ कड़िको Okay, इंगला So, gamma rays ले वंदु नमक्कु shorter wavelength वंदु कड़िको Gamma rays have highest energy, shorter wavelength, then highest frequency. But radio waves have lowest energy, longest wavelength and lowest frequency. Alpha radiation is the most dangerous radiation. Uh, from higher energy order to lower energy level. So, this is the reverse. Lower energy to higher energy level. Radio waves which is less than microwaves microwaves is uh, uh, lower than infrared rays then in higher rays is lower than visible light uh, visible light uh, energy uh, energy level vandu namak lower a irukadhu solra okay ingla so visible light uh, energy level is lower than uv radiation uv radiation energy level is lower than x rays x rays is uh, x rays energy level is lower than gamma rays so, இங்க வந்து நம்ப lower energy level to higher energy level வந்து நம்ப denote பண்ணிருக்கும் கேங்களா So, இந்த orderல வந்து அதாது இந்த lower to higher energy order போகும் போது நமக்க எப்படி இருக்குனா frequency வந்து increase ஆகு wavelength வந்து decrease ஆகு இப்பு நம்ப radio waves எடுத்துட்டம் நா நமக்க வந்து energy level வந்து low ஆருக்கு So, frequency also நமக்க low ஆதாக கடிக்கு But, wavelength நமக்க எப்படி இருக்கும் நா வந்து higher ஆருக்கு உக்கிங்களா From lowest to highest order of energy radiation Increasing frequency, decreasing wavelength உக்கிங்களா So, இப்பு micro waves போகும் போது radio waves விடு நமக்க frequency increase ஆகு so wavelength வந்து நமுக்கு decrease ஆகு so இந்த மாரியதான் நமுக்கு போயிட்டிருக்கு okay இங்கலா so இப்பு highest energy நம் gamma rays கிற்குன் சொன்னம்மா so இப்பு gamma rays கு வரும்போது எப்படி இருக்கு நாம் நமுக்கு வந்து highest frequency கடிக்கு same time shorter wavelength கடிக்கு so gamma rays வந்து நமுக்கு highest energy levelல் இருக்கு so இதுவே நமுக்கு வந்து highest to lower order energy radiation வரும்போது எப்படி இருக்கு நா frequency level வந்து நம்க்கு decrease ஆகிட்டே வரும் then increasing wavelength from lowest to highest order of energy radiation increasing frequency decreasing wavelength from highest to lower order of energy radiation decreasing frequency increasing wavelength இப்பு நம்ப energy radiations level பேச் பண்ணி some questions பாக்கும் first question is which of the following radiations possess highest energy Options are X-rays, Visible Light, UV Radiation, IR Radiation அதாது வந்து எந்த radiations வந்து நமக்க highest energy இருக்குனு சொல்லிருக்காங்க So given optionல நமக்கு X-rays is greater than ultraviolet radiation Ultraviolet radiation is greater than visible light Visible light is greater than infrared radiation So answer is X-rays So இந்த 4 radiationsல கம்பார் பண்ணும் போது X-rays புதா வந்து நமக்கு highest energy level இருக்கு Okay, you know? Next question is, which of the following radiations possess lowest energy? Options are X-rays, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, infrared radiation. Actually, in the four radiations, we have the lowest energy. So, the answer is infrared radiation. Okay, you know? So, that is the X-rays radiations and UV radiation are greater than that. UV radiation ओड energy level नमक्कு visible light विड़ greater आरुको So visible light ओड energy level वंद नमक्कு infrared radiation energy level विड़ greater आरुको So इन्द नाल radiation ले नमक्कு वंद infrared radiation ले दा वंद energy वंद नमक्कு lower आरुको Higher वंद X-rays Okay इंगला Highest energy वंद X-rays अरुको Lowest energy वंद infrared radiation अरुको So given option ले Okay इंगला 
Next question is increasing order of wavelength. So given four options la vandu, end the option la vandu, namak vandu wavelength vandu increase agadhan keter kanga. So correct option is D. So that is X-rays uh, less than ultraviolet radiation. So ultraviolet radiation or wavelength or namak vandu visible light radiations vandu namak in increase agu. So visible light radiations uh, which is less than infrared radiations wavelength. So नमक वन्दे इधर increasing order of wavelength के इधर कांगस, so इधर वन्दे नमक इन्दर four radiation circling ला, so इन्दर order ला वन्दे इप्पो IR radiation लगा वन्दे नमक कुम wavelength वन्दे highest आ रुको, but वन्दे आंधे IR radiation ला वन्दे when compared to other three radiations or X-rays, ultraviolet radiation, visible light. So in the moon radiation or compare panna mudha al infrared radiation lada vandu namakki energy level vandu low arukko so as well as frequency vandu namakki low arukko but vandu wavelength vandu increase agu so idhar vandu same x-rays la vandu namakki wavelength vandu decrease agu so next to la radiation wise pakkum mudhu so x-rays la vidu uv radiation la namakki wavelength increase agu uv vidu visible light la vandu wavelength increase agu visible la vidu infrared ले वंदी increase आगो so this is the order of wavelength increasing next question is wave number in centimeter inverse is related to its wavelength in micrometer as that is अधावत वंदी question ले एन्ना केट्टर कांगना इपप वंदी wave number that is new lambda वंदी नमक्क centimeter inverse ले रुक्क so इद वंदी wavelength वोड़ वंदी relate पन्नी केट्टर कांगा अधावत वंदी new bar and lambda वोड़ relationship केट्टर कां wave number வந்து நமக்கு centimeter inverseல இருக்குமோது wavelength வந்து micrometer இருக்கும் so இந்துக்கான relation வந்து கேட்டிருக்காங்க உக்கிங்களா so answer is new bar which is equal to 10,000 divided by lambda here new bar represents wave number lambda represents wavelength in IR spectrometry or infrared spectrometry wavelength is commonly represented in microns or micrometer 1 micron which is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meter in uh, IR spectrometry wave number is represented in inverse centimeters that is centimeter inverse next one important note that is if you want to give a question the wave number in centimeter inverse is related to wavelength in micrometer in the case of the case so this is the wave number that is wave number in centimeter inverse which is equal to 10,000 by lambda in micrometer this is the wavelength in micrometer the case of 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 the case wavelength in micrometer which is equal to 10,000 divided by centimeter inverse that is wave number in centimeter inverse uh, wave number is denoted by nu bar okay ingla. so nu bar uh, represents wave number lambda represents wavelength then next question is a wavelength of visible light is about 400 to 740 nanometer so visible light ना इन्हें ना इप्पो नम्बर वंदे human eyes वंदे पाक कुड़िये light दा वंदे नम्बर visible light इन सुनो so visible light means human eye can view visible light और डे wavelength range है उल्लो रुकना 400 to 740 nanometer thank you so much friends उंगल किंतु वीडियो पढ़ी चुन्दा वीडियो मर का मन लाइक पन अंगा उंगल फ्रेंड्स यार आवधि दे मात्री कॉम्पटिटिव एग्जाम्स को प्रिपार पने चुन्दा अंगना आप उंगल को नम चैनल वीडियो से शेयर पन अंगा मर का मन कॉम्पटिटिव एग्जाम्स एजुकेशन इंस्टिट्यूट चैनल अ सब्सक्राइब पन अंगा नमन नेक्स्ट और वीडियो ला पापों थैंक यू सो मच फ्रेंड्स